All right, we're going to do setup of the RM9000 using the CAN utility within the main install. So first, we're going to load add-in. So you right-click on Acomat modal, load add-in, select CAN. You can either double-click or click on add. Now we're going to right-click on CAN, and then click load add-in. Now we're going to select the CAN utility. You see there's a few options, but select CAN utility and add, or you can also double-click on it. Now we're going to look at the CAN here. So we've got CAN and CAN utility. So if I come back, uh, bring my cursor back here to the CAN, I can click on that. And you can see in my particular application, I have two devices. I've got the Peak and the CAN Fox. To use the CAN utility, you can only use the CAN Fox. So I set use the CAN Fox. I'm gonna change this over to 250 because I know that's actually wrong. And we'll see a little bit later on why I did that. So we click on the CAN utility. And then we're going to go to the scan functionalities. So first, we're going to scan for the baud rate. You don't need to do this. They default to 125. But for this video, I just want to show you how this works. So we scan. And then in the bottom of the screen, you'll see it going through changing the baud rates. And then it finds the device at 125. So now, once we know the baud rate, and this changes the baud rate to 125 of our CAN box, I can click on the quick scan and it scans it and it finds the device at node 32. So that is the default settings for the IFM RM9000. This is exactly what I'd expect to see. So 125 baud rate, 32 node ID. So now at this point, we're gonna to go to the SDO access. And this is, allows us to open an EDS file. So I click on open EDS file. And from here, we can navigate to where all the EDS files are for Codasys 2.3. If you're running 3.5, you're gonna to have to download those separately and probably have them saved on your PC. But for Codasys 2.3, if you go to the Codasys 2.3 folder and then library and PLC configuration, here you see all the EDS files that Codasys 2.3 uses. Here I'm gonna select the RM9000. We'll click on that and then hit open. And what this does is it brings the EDS file in with all the mapping of all the SDOs we have available to us. So you can scroll through here and see all of them. I'm gonna minimize them all for now. So the first thing I wanna do is change the node ID to 32. You see it defaults to zero X. That means it's a hex value, but if you don't put the zero X, you can just put the decimal value. So I've got the node ID of 32. I'm gonna go down here and select the serial number which will automatically then fill in the index and the sub-index of exactly where I need it, which is really handy. And I just click read. It sends the command out and the data comes back and there is the serial number for this particular device. So now I'm gonna look at the manual. So there's a few items that we change for this. So we need to have a little bit of data on what we're going to change. So the main ones, there's a lot of different things that you can change, but the main things that we're gonna change on this video is we're gonna look at the node number and baud rate. So baud rate here, node number, and then the last is the save parameter with reset. And that one has kind of some different values that we enter. So baud rate, the default is a value of three, which correlates down here in the lookup table to 125. We're gonna change the baud rate to 250, so it's gonna be a value of four. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to look at changing the node number. So there's a little note here about the node number. And with an example, one F plus one H equals 20. So one F is hex plus one equals 20. And that equates to 32. So you have to enter a number one less than the desired node number. The last part is the save, and then we have to enter that value 55AAAA55 when we want to save with the reset after we're done with the parameters. So those are the three that we're gonna look at today. And come back here to the can utility. <clears throat> so those are down there in the manufacturer's objects. We scroll down and then we see the list. So we see our baud rate, node number, save parameter with reset, all of the things that we need to change for this particular one. So I click node number, I read, and you see it's one app, which is exactly what we saw in the manual there. So after I read it, I'm gonna change this now to 15, because I wanna change it to a value of 16. So I hit write, sends the command down, 
is written. I'm going to go to baud rate, read that, currently set to 3. I'm going to set this to 4 for 250, so I write. And then anytime you do this, you can also go hit read and validate that the value has been set. The last part is I do the save parameter 3 set. All right, so here I have to enter the 0x55 AAAA55 and write. And at this point, it's all done. Now all that's required is to do a power cycle of the device and you'll be good to go. So we change the value to 250 with a node ID of 16. At this point, make sure again that you have power cycled the device and you should be good to go. So here I'm gonna change this to 250 because I know I changed it to that. I'm gonna go back to the um, scan functionalities here and then look and find that particular device. Sound scan, I'll do a quick scan. And now we are at 16. Should be good to go. Hope you have a great day.